long-awaited sequel to Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ is now in the works, bringing with it a surprising plot and a cast of stars. While the original film, released in 2004, garnered immense global success, particularly among American evangelicals, it also sparked controversy due to allegations of anti-Semitism and Gibson's personal troubles. The Passion of the Christ too aims to continue the narrative of the original, which was inspired by the Gospel of John and incorporated elements from Catholic traditions and Anne Catherine Emmerich's visions. Given the success of the first film, it's not surprising to see Gibson exploring the possibility of turning it into a loose franchise, considering the current trend where franchises often outshine individual actors and directors. However, the critical question remains whether Gibson can replicate the success and appeal to the same evangelical audience that embraced the initial movie. But first thing first, has the sequel to The Passion of the Christ been officially confirmed after 20 years of just talk? Yes, The Passion of the Christ 2 has been confirmed, with filming scheduled to commence in spring 2023. Jim Caviezel, the star of the film, announced in September 2020 that the script had been finalized, expressing his belief that it would be the biggest film in world history. Mel Gibson collaborated with Randall Wallace on the script, and Wallace, expressing interest in the sequel, had previously stated in 2016, I always wanted to tell this story. The passion is the beginning, and there's a lot more story to tell. The evangelical community, considering the passion as a significant movie, has expressed anticipation for an even larger impact with the sequel. IMDb has indicated a potential release in 2024, though this information is subject to change. As updates on the film's IMDb page continue to surface, we can expect more concrete details about the release in the near future. Notably, The Passion of the Christ was originally released on Ash Wednesday in 2004, a meaningful occasion for many Christians. With that, let's talk about the cast of Passion of the Christ 2. A major highlight is the expected return of Jim Caviezel, who is set to reprise his role as Jesus. Following the success of the first film, Caviezel has engaged in a diverse range of projects, including appearances in Outlander, The Prisoner, and Person of Interest. He also ventured back into biblical epics with Paul, Apostle of Christ, where he portrayed Luke alongside James Faulkner's Paul. Caviezel has been actively involved in discussions about the Passion of the Christ resurrection, openly discussing the script as early as 2020. In an interesting development, several cast members from the original film, which is now 20 years old, are making a return to continue the epic narrative. Maya Morgenstern, known for her role in The Seventh Room, is reportedly reprising her significant part as Mary, the mother of Jesus. Francesco De Vito, recognized for his role in The Man from Uncle, is set to return as Peter, one of Jesus' prominent apostles. Additionally, there are rumors suggesting Christo Jikov from In Memory of Me will reprise the role of John, the figure on whom the Passion of the Christ is based. However, the status of Monica Bellucci and Rosalinda Celentano, who played Magdalene and Satan in the original film, remains uncertain regarding their participation in Passion of the Christ 2. Now, let's talk about the Passion of the Christ 2 story. The narrative direction of the Passion of the Christ resurrection appears to take a logical approach, considering the Christian belief in Jesus' death and resurrection. The first film concluded with a brief glimpse of the resurrected Jesus, and the sequel is expected to delve into the three days between his death and resurrection, a period where many Christians believe Jesus descended into hell. Contrary to a primary emphasis on the resurrection itself, the film is speculated to focus on this specific time frame, exploring events not explicitly detailed in the Bible. In a continuation of the previous film's approach, some scenes in Passion of the Christ 2 are anticipated to draw inspiration from sources beyond the Bible, including visions from Catholic figures like Mary of Jesus of Agrida and Anne Catherine Emmerich. Emmerich's vision, known as the Harrowing of Hell, depicts Jesus descending into hell, breaking down its walls, and declaring war on the devil and his kingdom. While these events are only briefly alluded to in select Bible verses, they have generated theological debate among Christians. If Mel Gibson chooses to center the narrative around the harrowing of hell, it could potentially pose challenges in garnering unified support from evangelicals. 
given the varying perspectives on this aspect of the Christian narrative. Now, let's talk about two main controversies. First are the questions of historical and biblical accuracy. The issue of historical and biblical accuracy in the Passion of the Christ has been a subject of debate. While some critics argue that director Mel Gibson introduced elements not found in historical accounts of first-century Judea and biblical narratives of Christ's crucifixion, certain scholars defend the film by asserting that it is not primarily focused on historical precision. Biblical scholar Mark Goodacre, for instance, noted that he could not find any documented instance of Gibson explicitly claiming the film to be historically accurate. Gibson himself expressed his perspective, stating that his first duty was to be faithful to the biblical narrative, ensuring it did not contradict the scriptures. He believed there was room for artistic interpretation and filling in gaps with logic and imagination. An example of this approach is evident in scenes such as the portrayal of Judas Iscariot being tormented by demons in the form of children and Satan carrying a demonic baby during Christ's flogging. Gibson explained that these scenes were symbolic, depicting the distortion of what is good by evil forces. In response to inquiries about the film's faithfulness to the New Testament, Father Augustine Di Noia of the Vatican's Doctrinal Congregation acknowledged that The Passion of the Christ is not a documentary, but emphasized that it remains faithful to the fundamental structure common to all four accounts of the Gospels. He asserted that the film, despite not being a literal representation, is entirely faithful to the New Testament. Overall, the film's approach to historical and biblical accuracy has sparked diverse opinions and interpretations. Now, the second is the criticism of excessive violence. The Passion of the Christ faced significant criticism for its portrayal of excessive violence, with some critics expressing concerns about the film's focus on the brutal depiction of Jesus' final hours. A. O. Scott of the New York Times argued that the film's unrelenting emphasis on the savagery of Jesus' crucifixion seemed to stem more from wrath than love. He suggested that the film's impact was more about assaulting the spirit than uplifting it. David Edelstein, a critic from Slate, went further, describing the film as a two-hour and six-minute snuff movie and the Jesus Chainsaw Massacre. Edelstein criticized Gibson for seemingly prioritizing the brutality of Jesus' execution over conveying his religious teachings. In 2008, Michael Gurnow, writing for American Atheists, echoed similar sentiments by labeling the film a mainstream snuff film. Armand White, in his review for Africana.com, offered a different perspective on the violence portrayed in the film. White acknowledged the commercial appeal of violence in the entertainment industry and suggested that unlike Gibson's usual glorification of vengeance, The Passion of the Christ challenged viewers to respond to violence in a sensitive, serious, and personal manner. Overall, the criticism of excessive violence in the film centered on the perception that it focused too heavily on the graphic and brutal aspects of Jesus' crucifixion, potentially overshadowing the religious and spiritual messages it aimed to convey. Mel Gibson, in an interview with Diane Sawyer, expressed his intentions behind the shocking and extreme portrayal of Jesus' crucifixion in The Passion of the Christ. Gibson stated that he deliberately wanted the film to be shocking and extreme. His goal was for the audience to witness the enormity of the sacrifice made by Jesus and to understand that someone could endure such extreme pain, suffering, and ridicule, yet return with love and forgiveness. Gibson acknowledged that the actual crucifixion was even more violent than what was depicted in the film. However, he believed that portraying it in its full brutality might not effectively convey the intended message. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section, and should scenes like these be continued in the next part? That's it for now. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel to get updated. Let us know your thoughts on it. See ya!